Hi, I'm Chris Goodman, and I'm an UltraX Ace and Innovator. And I'm Joshua Burkow, also an UltraX Ace and Innovator. Welcome to Ultratrix. In this free raise to video, we're going to look at how to enable and disable a tool container. First of all, we'll bring in a radio button and label this Disable Tool Container 1. Connect that to the lightning anchor of the tool container and that then brings up an action tool. And then we'll configure this action tool and if you can see here, its default configuration is to disable the tool container. So then we bring in a dummy radio button and call this one Enable Tool Container 1. And we'll make this the default option. Then in the interface designer, we'll just reconfigure the order. And then if we look at the um, workflow, we can see how it behaves. So we open up the debug workflow and we can see that the tool container is enabled. Then if we select the disable radio button, open up the debug, we can see this is now being disabled. Moving on to the second option, we'll bring in a checkbox this time and call this Enable Tool Container 2. Then we'll bring in Condition Tool and in the Expression field we'll put connection number 1 and then off the true output we'll connect an action tool to the tool container and set this one to the enable and on the false configure this one to disable and what this is doing is if the tick box is checked um, it will output the true and if it's um, unchecked it will output the false so have a look at this in the um, interface. And now uncheck this box. And we can see it's now been disabled. Now for the third option. We'll bring in a checkbox again. This time we'll directly connect it to the tool container. Once we've got the action tool, we'll change the action to update via formula. Then in the expression field, we'll type if, then select connection one. So this will give you a true false value depending on if it's checked or not, then we do then false else true. And what we're doing is updating the behavior of the tool container. So we can see here that when the checkbox is checked, that tool container is enabled. And then when we disable the checkbox, We can see that that's now disabled. Thank you for watching. Click here to watch more and here to subscribe.